Well, Shumai everyone, I'm delighted to be here today because I've been asked to be a design, um, a guest designer, I couldn't think of the word then, Elise said design engineer, a guest designer for Marie from Thoughtful Studio. So I've got her details here. So it's in Thoughtful Studio is the name of her um, uh, Etsy store. So her Instagram is Thoughtful Studio by Marie. Her Facebook group is Thoughtfully. Her Etsy group is Shop Thoughtful Studio. And if you use this discount code, which Thoughtful Nicola, um, it'll give you 15% off her downloadable collections. And I'm delighted to be using with a brand new collection called Tessa's Sunday Showers. And it's a printable collection. And you so you can, once you've bought it, you can print it as many times as you like which I absolutely love about printable collections because if there's one piece of paper you particularly like, you could print hundreds if you like. The other fab thing is she has lots of lovely little embellishments that you can cut out. So everything here I've either punched or I've cut out and is all from the collection. This is just, I'm just showing you like a, a small part of the collection actually. There's a lot more pattern papers. And this is the first card I've made. And it is a thank you card, but inside it's actually, um, it's going with an afternoon tea that we're delivering. My mum and I um, are working tomorrow together to create an afternoon tea and we're going to deliver some to her cousin. My mum's been really poorly lately, which is why I, I see her quite a lot, because um, when she's not very well, I act as her carer. So we decided her cousin Joy has been absolutely fantastic and her cousin's husband loves my mum's cakes. My mum is an incredible baker. So we thought we would get together and create a real afternoon tea for V Day celebrations. And we're going to I'm going to deliver them to her then. So this is going to go in her with her afternoon tea, saying thank you. I made this whole cluster from the collection. A little bit of um, a thank you message inside then and I've actually got a tutorial for this sort of card fold further down so it stands like that on the mantelpiece and as you can see it looks 3D there we go but not only are we doing one for my mum's cousin we're also doing them for my mother-in-law so I'm going to do a, a completely different fold for you now I've cut all my cardstock ready as I say everything I'm using is from the collection I've made a little cluster using tags and that's all it is, two tags together. I've used some um, twine and some sequins. I've used some sequins as well on this one. So I'm going to now create my next card. And for this card, I need a piece of card, which is, I'm using the wrong trimmer now, five and a half down by 12. So five and a half by 12. And I've actually, I always create a little template for myself. So what I'll do, I will, um, I'll take a photo of this at the end as well. So if you wanted to recreate this card. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my scoreboard. Not my scoreboard. Oh, I'm having a bit of a May today, I'll be honest. I try to take part in a meeting in school. And for some reason, they could see me, but they couldn't hear a word I say. Which, is, which could be a good thing, who knows. Everything's gone wrong. So I'm going to score it at two inches. Don't press too hard because you'll break your card. Then I'm going to do it at four inches. Then at eight. Then at ten. Okay. So then your card's going to look like this. I'm wondering if you might... Oh, if I've got the... My blind open is too bright. There we are. You can see it like this. That's the scoring finished. Then, what you're going to do then, is you're going to cut between your furthest score lines. So you're going to bring your piece of card in to one and a half. And you're going to put your blade on ten and you're going to cut from 10 to 2. Then take a card out, turn it around, slot it back in the other way, up to one and a half inches again. And again, cut between your score lines. There we go. So that 
that is what your card looks like at the moment with a section there right the best time to decorate it is when it's flat so as you can see i've cut all these little pieces but i might i might need to trim that one down slightly because i obviously having the sort of day i am so i've got these little bits then that i'm now going to stick on and decorate the front of my card now as i say the great thing about printable collections is you can print your favorite pieces as often as you like teal and coral and pink are by far my favorite colors usually to scrapbook with i do a lot of scrapbooking in these colors there we go i'm going to shut my blinds again but for a change it's nice to do some card making in these colors there we go now if you want to tombow if you wanted to use liquid glue that's absolutely fine as well and i'm just going to decorate all these up like this and as you can see i'm just mixing and matching the packaging this collection is perfect for afternoon tea and for special deliveries because of all the hearts and the envelopes but on these little bits of paper here it says tea on these little teapots and tea bags so that was made to measure is my decorated card and now i'm going to show you how to fold it so this piece here we're going to it's a bit like the tina turner song valleys and mountains okay or rivers i should say rivers and mountains but this one's going to be valleys and mountains so your outside one is going to be a, a mountain fold then these next two then this one and this one the top two are going to be valleys but this one in the middle is going to be a mountain okay that's going to be a mountain that's going to be a mountain that's going to be a valley it'll all make sense when you see it all together now okay so it's like this and then this one is also a mountain okay so there is your card then with a little bit of persuasion your card is going to fold like that okay so it looks like that it's like a double z i suppose a double z so don't be afraid to to be a little bit rough with it careful but rough so there is my card now i'm going to use my little cluster here on the front like that and i'm going to stick it on with my atp Ooh, no i'm not i'm going to stick it on my desk okay and i'm going to make sure that it's mainly sticking it to this one section here so there it is so far then i'm going to put my little message at the back like this there we go like that so that's what it looks like so far then i've got this nice little embellishment here that i cut out which says sweet i'm going to put that in the centerpiece there like that i'm gonna i've got this little one here that i've stamped for you i'm gonna put that here that on the little teacups and the, the teapots and then i've got these other little leftover pieces but i think i'm just going to put some of the hearts top and bottom there i'm going to put those on with foam dots though i need to make sure they don't get in the way of the fold I'm sat in my craft room melting at the moment because if I've got my windows open, um, somebody's having a lot of work done further down the street and that's all you can hear, so you wouldn't be able to hear me. So instead, I am absolutely melting. This is, as I say, this is perfect for afternoon tea because of the fact that it's like a special delivery with the hearts and the fact that it's got little teacups and teapots. So once again, 
as I say, be rough if you need to, to get it to go the way you want it. And that is my finished card. So it goes in an envelope like this. Then when they open it up, it looks like that. So I've got this card. And then this is a different fold of card. This one then looks like this and opens up to look like that. So as I say, that is from using, I think I printed four different pattern papers and then the embellishment piece, the embellishment sheet. And I've still got lots and lots left. And I can cut and I can print and cut as many other pieces as I like. But there it is. They are my two cards. Please pop over to see the the Etsy shop, Stop, shop Thoughtful Studio. Follow Marie on Instagram because her designers come up with the most stunning projects for her lovely collections. And I must be honest, Marie is an absolute delight. She is one of the sweetest people I've ever met online, I think. So thank you so much for joining me. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Hi, bye.